tell us about that that getting married on October 1st and having oh. a kid <laughs> Busy. bad timing <laughs> <laughs> when I moved here I didn't hunt whitetail because I only grew up hunting blacktail in Washington so somehow I ended up getting married on October 1st which is a huge blessing <laughs> obviously um, and then we were really bored in February so <laughs> we had a, a baby that came out October 3rd so I got a had a 10 year anniversary on Friday and my daughter turns nine this morning and somehow I'm going hunting with Ryan right now. <laughs> Season opened yesterday but the wind for where we wanted to hunt was wrong. So Friday, Ryan made an executive decision to uh, bail on the tree that we were gonna hunt the uh, hunt out of for the deer because of the wind. And uh, he ran to Bass Pro, got a Got a big ground blind. Oh, let me get it. He went to Bass Pro, got us a big ground blind. Came out here and brushed it in and set it up so we could hunt this with a south wind. Hold that thought again. Part three. We gave him an extra day to get used to it. That's why we didn't hunt yesterday morning. And uh, wind's perfect. It's a little bit colder this morning. Uh, about 60 degrees out. So. It should be pretty dang good, so we're gonna we're pretty excited for it. It's gonna be a banger season. We're gonna start it off right. for the setup and uh, we'll be back out here this evening if we don't get one this morning but this thing is massive from Cabela's what's the name of this thing they're the blackout it's Cabela's brand yeah Cabela's blackout blind if y'all need a blind this thing is jam up if you got kids you want to hunt with a wife a family family reunion <laughs> you can fit everybody in this thing it's huge So we did see a ton of does this morning, no bucks. Went out and looked where all the corn was gone. We put out, uh, I think Ryan put out a bag two days ago. So we're gonna go, camera batteries died too as well, so we don't know what's coming in, what's not. So we're gonna go grab some corn. We're gonna recorn it, we're in Texas. We like to feed our deer so they're plumper. Um, it has nothing to do with bringing them in. But So we're gonna corn it, and then we're gonna leave all our stuff in the blind. We're gonna come out early this afternoon. We got a birthday party we're gonna do, and then uh, we'll be out here probably 3 30, 4 o'clock. And uh, they've been coming in the evening more, anyways, but we were trying this morning because the wind was right. So we're gonna corn it, fix the batteries on the camera, get back out here, and hopefully give one a dirt nap. we've hunted out here a week two weeks before season opens I mean they are patterned coming in daylight morning daylight evening non-stop consistent pattern and then I swear the day before opening season freaking they just go nocturnal it's like they freaking know it so we didn't see any of the bucks this morning so we're hoping that's a good sign because uh, they were on the camera two days ago in the daytime so hopefully those bucks are moving this evening and we can put one on the dirt. We'll see how it goes.
So, uh... <laughs> so, uh... <laughs> so, uh... Why don't you tell us what happened, Ryan? <laughs> we should be filming a recovery right now. If JJ would have been ranging for me, it would have been nice. Yeah. I ranged every tree in there. <laughs> <laughs> he was getting two different camera angles, and I was just over there missing <laughs> chip shots. <laughs> so... I mean, I guess like he said, we're just used to shooting elk. Um, elk just don't duck as hard as whitetail do at 30. But um, best case scenario, I missed the deer clean, checked my arrow, and there was no other of our shooters around, so hopefully we didn't screw that up. And then we wound up actually right before dark seeing the buck. Complete 100% guarantee it was him. He walked back out in the field a couple hundred yards from us. It was just chilling, so I don't think we really spooked him. I mean, Ryan. Ryan's chair was not positioned for a good no. shot, so he was like all contorted when he was pulling back. And then I did. I didn't want to use that as an excuse, yeah. but I mean, I'll give it to him, you know. And, but he did fix his contortion, and he was sitting upright when he shot. So, uh, but we're gonna name that deer Neo because he straight matrix that arrow at thirty <laughs> yards. And in slow mo, if you watch it, that's kind of a wrap. So oh, we're we gonna come back after him. Yeah, we're gonna go check for pigs real quick. We got the thermals. We're not through with Neo, I feel yeah, like. Yeah, Neo, Neo's day will come. Yeah. So. It's the following day um, after that horrible display of shooting at 30 yards by myself. Just trying to shake it off. I probably watched that video on my phone probably no lie a hundred times. I'm sitting here pretty much just waiting on JJ to get here. He told me to be here at 4.30. Calls me at 4.30. Just leaving his house, pretty sure. So It's hot. It's still 90 degrees, but we're uh, going to try to wait till the last possible minute to get in there and see if uh, some bucks show up. Just hang tight. Wait on JJ. Smoke City, son. Oh, dude, I wrecked him, bro. Smoke City. I wrecked him. Oh. I'm shaking. I'm shaking. I'm still shaking. Oh, dude, right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. That worked out perfect. I mean, we probably had 30 does on us since about 5 o'clock. And they just came out of the woods. I mean, just pretty as could be. 
saw two small, saw a real small buck and then another buck and then a good six point and then there was the drop time that I'm chasing. It's a really, really good deer for out here. He came out just like Ryan's deer yesterday, straight, straight at us and stopped at like 35 yards and just sat there. And he made us wait, helped us calm down. My hands were sweating. I tell you what, I took him off. I had to set my bow down on my lap. Took a step and turned broadside. And I'm talking smoke oh, city. Blew right through. Oh, whenever he looked up, when he gave you that, when he looked up and then looked back down, that was, and he took that step, oh, it was yeah. like, he was totally, I'm he was so glad we waited. He had no clue we were here. He wasn't on edge at all. And like Ryan said, he put that, he turned, put that step down, he just opened up. And, uh, he was about 29 yards, held my 30 yard pin just a, a smidge low because yesterday <laughs> Ryan's deer dropped about 12 inches um, and went right over his back. But, and we watched the video just now in the in the blind. He ducked a little bit, but that X bright going 309 <laughs> feet per second ain't no joke. <laughs> him, right on the edge of those trees where it opens up, I, see, I thought I seen him stop. Okay. It's right where I see it. Oh, oh. oh, dude. Oh, dude, that's a freaking beautiful deer. I'll get you some of that. Oh, the frame on him, dude. Oh, my goodness. Are you kidding me? Beautiful, dude. Look at that. Oh, what a freaking beautiful deer. Oh. Look at that trash. Look at that trash on him. Look at all that trash on him. That drop time, look at that drop blade, dude. How it drops down like that. Oh my goodness. What a freaking that is awesome. beautiful buck. Oh, this is what it's all about. Look how wide his, his uh, brow times are. Yeah, so, dude. Look at the, his bases, dude. Yes. You can even look at that nastiness. Oh, yeah, he's in an ant pile. Oh, <laughs> snaps. We've had it with ant piles this Oh my goodness. That is freaking good. This is the biggest buck I ever shot with a bow. Nope. Man, that is freaking awesome. Like you were saying, the rush you get from a good whitetail buck like that, just because you got to be so quiet and mm -hmm. just stealthy. And you know, elk, obviously, it's a totally different rush of its own, but you can walk around and be loud, breathe. You can shake like a leaf and they can't tell. But these guys are smart. So I told Kyle the other day, I was like, I love elk hunting. It has its its own unique features to it, but there's something about it, being at home hunting whitetails. Yeah. It's, I mean, that is the nastiest right time I've ever... I mean, that is nasty. Nasty. Look at that, how it's like waves. No. God, that is going to look beautiful on the wall. Man, that gets me checked up. That thing's a freaking toad. <laughs> look at that, dude. I shoot him, Ryan goes, Oh, you smoked him, you smoked him! Give me your binos! <laughs> <laughs> right now. Is that not neck? When we walked over to where after you shot him, there was no corn. No, dude, there was like busted little bitty pieces. Like yeah, and you know what they were in there digging? You see him pawing at the ground and stuff? He was pounding on that buck handle. Freaking awesome. It could not have went any better. We're so jacked up about this. It was a smooth transition from elk season to whitetail. We had a little hiccup yesterday, but we came back out here, same spot, and freaking couldn't have gone any better. Got to be able to put a great shot on him at 29 yards. My target buck, biggest buck I've ever shot. We got a little drop time, some trash. So we're super excited about it. So let us know what you guys like. Comment, subscribe, give us a follow, and we'll see y'all next time.